So today is cruise day and I'm going to be sailing on Carnival Cruise Lines, a brand new Italian style cruise ship, the Venezia. Now, of course, once we get on board, I'll give you all the little giblets and details you want to know about. I was on board this ship yesterday for the naming ceremony, and I'll tell you guys right now, this is hands down the most beautiful carnival ship you will ever see, at least at the moment. Time to board. We got to go upstairs to go check in. I have already checked in my bag and made sure the porter was tipped. I also met a nice young gentleman over there named Joe. He says I get to skip the line and go straight on board, which is pretty cool. I'm not going to say no to that, and I don't think any of you would either. Normally, in order to board the ship, the line starts right over here. My check-in time was 12.30 to 1 p.m. It is now 12.35. But like I said, there is a gentleman that watches the channel here that works here at the port. He's going to expedite my boarding process, which I appreciate very much. Also, another little nugget of information. I haven't been to this port in four years. And where the Carnival Venezia is at now is exactly where the ship I used to work on, the Norwegian Escape, used to sit. It kind of goes full circle. Pretty cool. As you can see from the bags to the line, it does look like a pretty well-oiled machine here. And the line is moving pretty fast, too. There goes Joe right over here, guys, by the way. Make sure you give him a shout-out. Tell him thank you. I won't be able to record again until I get checked in and pass security. But just to give you guys a little details, special assistance, special needs, or anything like that, accessibility is over on this side. General boarding and priority boarding is here on the left side. I've officially made it through security. It took about 20 minutes, and now it's time to board the ship. I'm so excited to show you guys this ship and to get back on. I'm telling you, it's nothing like the ship I was on last week, the Luminosa. They put some time and money into this one. Of course, they've got the classic picture photo booth. How you doing? Thank you. Final scan in. Thank you, sir. And here we go. Carnival Venezia, let's do this. And we are officially on board. The Carnival Venezia. Hey, hey, how's it going, guys? Look at how beautiful this atrium is. Now, it is a little loud back over in that area with copyrighted music, so we're going to go ahead and check into our room, and we'll explore that area later. We're on deck three now. My cabin is down on deck two. The hallway alone is beautiful here. Man, they really put some time into this ship. Here is my room, and here is my key. Moment of truth. Let's see what we're working with. Ta-da. Oh. Not bad. Give you guys a brief walkthrough before we go exploring, show you the room, because I don't think I'll do an official tour on my main channel. As you can see, got a nice little bed. Carnival typically does have some very comfortable beds. I'll find out soon enough. Over here on this desk, you got USB ports. You have two outlets here, your outlet over here, the couch, which if I remember correctly, it should turn out into a bed here, USB ports there. There aren't any on that side. This controls the main lighting where this cathedral picture here is. There's shelves over here. We have plenty of closet space. As you can see, the room is very functional, very nice too. I like this dark wood thing they got going on here. Plenty of hooks over here. Let's check out the bathroom, the old porcelain throne. Thankfully, these are not curtains here. I love when they have the glass doors. Definitely a more modern look. I like what they did with the sink over here. It's not super roomy, but it's definitely functional and it will do the job. Check out the balcony here. Now this here is a cove balcony. A lot of people prefer this type of balcony over a regular standard balcony because as you can see, I'm down on deck two. This is the lowest level balcony that you can get on. A lot of people believe it also provides more privacy. And these balconies can come with a package for the spa and you can get what's called a spa cove balcony. You got two chairs here and a table. The price I paid for this stateroom, as well as the entire cruise as a whole, came out to $2,400. This is a four-day sailing out of New York City to Bermuda and back. This does include all the port taxes and fees, as well as the gratuities, aka the tips. I also got $200 of onboard credit. And prior to boarding this ship, I did buy the premium Wi-Fi package at $75 a pop, as well as the Cheers alcoholic drink package, which covers 15 drinks maximum per day. So for the next order of business, I need to check into my muster or safety station located at the Marco Polo Theater, which is on deck three forward. That's the front part of the ship. By the way, I meant Marco Polo restaurant, not theater. My bad. And it looks like this is where I'll be checking in from my muster station. The muster station is officially done. Now it's time to do some exploring. First of all, let's take a look at the Marco Polo restaurant. This is nice. Very elegant, like, like I said, Carnival, you can tell they put some time and money into this ship, and, well, there's a lot I want to show you. Two things I want to point out before we get started with our adventure. First of all, for all of you guys out here and ladies that are bringing contraband, there are police dogs on this ship right now for embarkation day. So, well, you're free to do what you want, but you're not free from consequences, so, of course, just 
keep that in mind. Also, for those of you out there, I always remind all of you to do all of your bookings, buy whatever it is you want to buy prior to coming onto the ship because you want to avoid having any kinds of hiccups or conundrums on board because you don't want to have to go to guest services on the first day. You do, you're going to be waiting in line forever. I was in here yesterday for the ceremony, but this here is the Teatro Russo, the theater. Very, very nice. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that name wrong. Somebody correct me in the comments. So you guys, the casino wall is closed. I don't know what you guys would consider a large casino or a small casino or a good casino because I don't gamble. The house always wins, as you all know. But it doesn't look bad. And I think if I remember correctly when I saw yesterday, they divided a small section to only be the smoking area. So all of this area is completely smoke free. Here we have the Heroes Tribute Bar, a very popular area on all carnival ships. Of course, respect and thank you to all of our men and women in the military and armed forces. We have the art gallery here on deck four. As you can see all the paintings you can auction and bid for. This here is the Limelight Lounge. This is where they typically have the comedy shows and also will double as the nightclub and a couple other events. You guys, of course, know I am a little bit of a partier, so I'm excited to see what the nightlife is going to be like here on board the Venezia. This here is the main dining room, the Canal Grand Restaurant. I ate here yesterday, food was pretty good. On deck five, we got the Carnival Bar and Lounge. By the way, I'm not gonna give you guys a full cruise ship tour in this video, just showing you guys the basics. They also have an outside area too. However, it's only for the Teresa guests, if I'm saying that correctly. Just think of you've been on other Carnival ships, the Havana area. This is pretty much a similar style to it, as well as the rooms that they have on the other side of the ship, around the corner. So we just got an announcement. We have a little problem. We're supposed to sail away in about 30 minutes. However, there's about 500 people that have yet to check into their mustard drill, their emergency safety station. And for that reason, they have now closed all of the bars, which I think is justifiable. We gotta get everybody checked in so we can get them moving and make sure everybody knows what's gonna happen in the event of an emergency. So I guess we'll see what happens in a couple of minutes. By the way, since we are talking about the bars, one thing that's different here about New York, and from my understanding, because I've been sailed out of there, Texas, the first day they have like a weird law where even if you bought the drink package, it's not activated until the second day. So even though I bought the drink package for the first time, the cheers package, it doesn't activate until tomorrow. So I'm paying for every drink that I have today. Well, I do have $200 on board credit, so I'll use that. As we work our way up, as you can see, here is the pool deck or little deck. Very beautiful area. A little tight for the amount of people that are on board this ship, but still very gorgeous. Before the music starts getting too loud, I'll show you guys the pool deck here in the back area. And it's about that time. Let's take a look around at this top deck here. They have some swings or workout equipment, I'm not exactly sure. Looks like over here we have a full basketball court. This is nice to see because they only had a half court on the Luminosa and well it was down when we got out there too unfortunately. Plenty of lounging area down there. A ropes course right over here. Of course true to Italian and respect to Costa they kept the Costa funnel. Right below the ropes course they have all kinds of games. Cornhole, mini golf. From up top as you can see they do have a retractable roof here for the Lido deck in the event that we have inclement weather. And then directly behind me here they have two slides for all the kids. Well the adults too. I know I'm going to be sliding down on these. Up top near the slides we do have the adult only area. The Serenity deck, one of my favorite spots. No matter what carnival ship it is, most of the time the Serenity deck is normally a nice area. And then of course on the newer carnival ships they have like a purchased experience called Loft 19, where it's just a more upscale, nicer, quieter version of the Serenity Deck. I like this area up here. It's kind of giving off celebrity beyond vibes, in a way, in a way, because of all the white and the plants and everything. Very, very beautiful area. Time for the sail away party. So we are officially moving to the left. Hey. Take it back now, y'all. We are officially heading out. Freeze. Ian, seven days, NYC. <laughs> First and foremost, I am so excited to have y'all on board because y'all are the first guests that we have sailing on this ship out of the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a celebrity on board. You guys have never heard of EECC Travels. This here is Jason. 
What's the up, man, y'all? the myth, the legend. Jason, how you doing? I'm doing well. I feel like every time like you've been like a ship or a cruise, either behind me or in front of me. I'm glad we were actually able to meet, man. I've heard so much about you. I'm just, I'm excited. And likewise, I think I'm just as excited to meet you as you are me. So this is a, this is a, this is pretty, pretty cool right here. Pretty cool moment. He's just being nice. <laughs> now hold on. Where, where is your? There's two of them normally. Where's the oh, other half? At? I, I, here oh, she is. There she is. Hello. That, <laughs> Lisa and Jason. If you guys have not subscribed, so I'm sure you already have. You're watching my channel. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to their videos. Watch all of them. Of course, hit the like button. Well, the sail away party wasn't amazing, but it wasn't horrible either, to be honest with all of you. I'm not sure if it was because we were late sailing away or checking everybody in for the mustard drill or because of the new location of the sail away party. Normally, they do it on the Lido. The Lido's not big enough, so they did it on the aft. The aft isn't that big either. And Well, usually they have like a dance battle and all this other crazy stuff, and they didn't have it this time around. My stomach has been growling for hours. I'm gonna go ahead and get some food. However, before I do, just to give you a couple quick facts about this brand new beautiful ship, the Carnival Venezia. It was originally launched in the year 2019. Back then it belonged to Carnival sister brand Costa. It's an Italian line. However, during the pandemic and everything that was going on, it was originally scheduled to go over in Asia to sail and cater to that market over there. But instead, it ended up coming over here to the United States in 2023. It's now been christened and, well, it's a beautiful ship. Got a new paint job and all that other good stuff. It costs $800 million to build has 14 decks and holds 4,200 passengers. Show you guys the elevator real quick. Now, the only other time I've seen these styles of elevators on a cruise ship would be, of course, the MSC Seascape and the Carnival Horizon. I'm not a huge fan of them because they can cause a little bit of a delay, but they do, in a way, kind of streamline. I know people are kind of 50-50 about them. First things first, we're going to check out the Lido Marketplace, the buffet. See what they got on tap. I'm not gonna get in anybody's way, but we got the usual suspects. You have the salad bar, all right here. We have rice, fish, chicken, potatoes, all the usual stuff. All the desserts right over here, and then right across the way we have the deli. If you want like a sandwich, hot or cold, they have it. You have the pizza spot here, Pizzeria del Capitano. Pretty long line right now. Obviously very popular and delicious. This is what I want right here, the seafood shack. I have been waiting for this. The lobster roll. Let's dig in. I'm all cleaned up. Let's go check out some of the nightly festivities. Right now, I think there's a Latin event going on at the Carnival Bar and Lounge. So we'll check that out first. Here we are. Carnival Bar and Grill. This is a nice bar. Amari. I'll have to stop by here while I'm on board. We have to go to the comedy show next, but now that the music isn't as loud, let me show you guys the atrium. Absolutely beautiful. Beauty supply store over there, watch store over there, jewelry store over there. Effie. I'm sure you guys are familiar with it. Let's go check out the comedy show. Hello, my name is Buzz. Everybody say hello, Buzz. Hey, Buzz. Hello. So, Buzz is not my real name. My real name is Austin, and my last name is Buzzard. So, just another reminder: as an adult show, if you feel easily offended, you may leave. Let's hear it for John Mulroney. Not a bad comic. Definitely touched on some very uh, spicy topics. He was primarily talking about race and. I could just feel the energy in the crowd. I thought it was pretty funny, but yeah, some people in the crowd were, I heard a couple remarks, but either way, not bad. So next up, we have the nightclub, and that should be interesting. That was fun. Did you see the guy take his own shoe and put beer in it and drink it? Absolutely insane. I had somebody record me dancing to, uh, you know, hype up the night, but unfortunately, they recorded the wrong way. It is what it is. There'll be other nights, but not a bad first day here on board the Carnival Venezia. Of course, guys, let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below. If there's anything you want to see, of course, let me know. I have more videos coming up as usual. Hit that like button on your way out. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you later. Take it easy.